Maybe he was sharing with us. You want to share a little bit about your experience with your phone call this morning? Because it was such a, I don't know if people know the, the whole story of <laughs> coming here, but, but it was so precious. Oh, like with my son this morning. It's so relaxing. You want the microphone or? No? <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember my um, partner this morning to check in, uh, which I normally would bring. My partner and I have been together six years and have not spent one day apart or one night. And um, coming up here was something that I really, really knew I needed to do. Susie addressed it in the office on Tuesday. And I went, yes, I'm going to do it. And then I went, oh, I can't. I, I can't leave my family for, for a night, for two days. And, and so I went through the whole process and I didn't talk to Todd about it and left it for a day or two. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> one morning it was, I felt like I, and I said it. And he just didn't want a bar of it at all. <laughs> whatever um, and then we and then I was speaking to him on the phone and I said I, I really want to go I really need to go um, and I think it's great for you and Tamaki to be together you know and for Tamaki to know that without mummy around you're safe you know with daddy and and you'll always be safe and and my mum was there and so anyway the ball rolled along all week and weekend and that, we went through a massive fight, um, massive. I, I found myself, it was funny, I was telling you, I was screaming in a car park, and I thought, well, what am I doing? And, and then I said to Todd, go, you know, and then the ball turned and turned, and then I, and I held on to I was definitely coming, no matter what, and I locked it in by, I said yes to picking up boxes for David to bring up here, and then, on Sunday, I thought, I'm not going to go, forget it, you win. And then I thought, no, I've got boxes to take. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. And then I thought, no, I'm going. There is nothing stopping me. And then Sunday went and we worked through our stuff and Monday came and and Todd was really moving into it, it was fine and it was great. And then I came up here on Tuesday and yesterday at lunch, I went to a slight moment of, I should be calling. I hadn't spoken to him all day. Todd would ring me 12 times a day um, just to talk nonsense, and which but that's fine. And anyway, so I thought, oh, you, you should be calling. You haven't called. And, and so I went through this whole massive thing yesterday. I, miss, I, I didn't miss my son, and I still don't miss my son. And it's past 24 hours, and I still don't miss my son, and I don't miss my partner. Um, and then this morning I rang in to check in, and Todd is Todd is a, a married man who, who's I don't know if anyone knows many Marys here, but they're quite yes. <laughs> quite hard people, and and he's not Todd's very um, in tune with himself, and his whole family background is born again Christians, and he's been going to church, which he <coughs> says is for him, and it's not he. I mean, he hasn't done the he just goes every Sunday for him, he sits there, he comes home and he shares with me and we bounce off, wow, I really agree, but I don't need to go to a building to do that. And, and this, whole, this whole thing was going and, and then he went into this major <coughs> thing um, with Pania's partner, you love you, know Pania, um, that am I going to a cult and am I going to run off with a more spiritual man and, and all of this came out in him and then this morning I rang and he was so calm, he had this soft voice and I said, I, the phone was ringing and you ringing and ringing and, and then that beep beep <laughs> and he went, hello oh, darling and I was like, <laughs> I thought I called the wrong person <laughs> and I was like, hello and he Sleep. And I said, well, getting there was a bit hard, but once I fell asleep, I slept the whole night. I have to tell everyone, I slept the whole night. I didn't even have to wake up once. <laughs> and, and I didn't have a, my son leeching off me somewhere. It was my total space in my single bed. And, um, and he, said, he said, you sound so relaxed. 
And I said, I am. I am so relaxed. I am so happy. And he said, oh, that's wonderful. He said, here's your son. And then he kept the phone and, and oh, no, 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 Hello, and, and my mum's in the background cooking breakfast and Todd and my mum were talking and my mum and Todd get on so well but Todd doesn't talk much and when he talks, and it's what? <laughs> and my mum's partly deaf so it's <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And so he gives up talking to her and she gives up trying to listen and they love each other dearly and she lives with us at the moment, well she's living with us and and they were talking in the background. Mum was like, Rrr, and Todd was like, Rrr, and Tamaki's walking around with me on the phone talking. And, and it was, I kind of stopped from Tamaki and heard Mum, and, and she said, How do you want your eggs? And I went, Mum's got your Todd eggs. You know, and then Todd got back on the phone, and, and I was waiting for this conversation to drag out and drag out, which it does, you know, I, I did this and I, and I sat down and I stood up and I was waiting for it and I prepared myself, I walked out the back and I sat down in the coffee and got ready and he went, all right then darling, well you have a fabulous day and you don't need to check in the call, we're going to do a few things and I'll see you when you get home. And I instantly went to, like, I was like, Wow, but then I was like, don't you care what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> it went from she's going to a cult to she's going to run off with a spiritual man, and, and all of this stuff went on for him. And then it was, you don't even, you haven't even asked me what I've done. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, bye. And he went, love you. And I was like, Love you too. <laughs> and he hung up the phone first. And I'm always the one that hangs up the phone. And, and it was just amazing that um, giving, and, and David said it to me this morning, giving myself the permission just to go and do what I had to do for me. And the snowball effect that went through my home. And, and Todd, I'm going to share this, I don't know, I just came to me to share. Um, Todd and I had another blue one night. And he was, he gets so caught in anger. And, and Todd feels that he's allowed to be angry and he's had a horrible life and all these experiences and it's never gonna change, so deal with it. And like, and and then he kind of goes, well, I'm going to church. And I said, well, I'm sorry, honey, but no one's gonna come with a magic wand and wave it and then you're gonna be better. And then and then it turned around, well, maybe I should go to one of your and retreats and, and, and I'll be better. And I was just like, whoa. Anyway. This time we had a fight and I was trying so calmly to stay soft and calm and, and just talk to him on my beliefs and, and turn what he was so frustrated with that it was okay to be angry and it's not going to change and he didn't even want to help himself, you know. And, and I said to him, would you read a book? I had no idea what book I was going to give him. I was going to go to the office the next day and say, what book should I give Todd to read? Um, and he said, I don't read books. And I said, Okay, all right, then I said, um, he goes, no, oh, I just throw them away. I, I, I've never been able to finish them. I don't like them. I don't want to read. I'm not, I, I can't even sit still to read. And I said, okay, well, I don't know what to do any, anymore to help. Um, I just, anyway, he stormed off and he went for his drive and he came back and, you know, they slammed the door and I slammed this and you still know I'm angry and I'm banging this. And then all of a sudden he went into the room and I just stayed away. and would have been two hours later I walked down to the room and he was laying in bed with Eckhart Tolle's book. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a long list of books like there's Raj's book and there's Eckhart Tolle's book and then there's all these books and he picked up one and, and I walked in and he said is this the one you wanted me to read? And I said I don't know what I wanted you to read. I said but obviously you meant to read that one and he read and he was so proud, like I'd get a, a report, oh, I read 32 pages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, up to page, I'm up to page 56. <laughs> and, and then I'm thinking, and then I'm like, oh, okay, so I picked up the power of now. And I couldn't even get through the first five pages. 